Leah and Elliot learn boundaries. Leah and Elliot are twins. They live at home with their mom, dad, and their dog, Puffer. Leah and Elliot like to play together. However, they would almost always end up fighting. They fought over toys. Elliot would cry. Mom, Leah took my cars and I can't find them. And they fought over food. Dad, Elliot ate the sandwich out of my lunchbox. I didn't have any food at school for lunch. And they fought over Puffer. I am going to take Puffer for a walk. No, I am going to take Puffer for a walk. He is playing with me. No, he's playing with me. The twins argued so much over Puffer. They were both tugging at him. Puffer fell. He was hurt. He went crying to mom and dad. Mom and dad decided that they would have to teach Elliot and Leah how to get along. So they called a family meeting. Leah and Elliot, we love you both. It hurts us when the two of you do not get along. Mom and I are going to teach you how to use your words. You will learn how to respect each other and set boundaries. Dad and mom showed Leah and Elliot the following. Insert the person's name. It bothers me when you put in the concern that you have with the other person. I wish you would. State what you would have liked to the person to do instead. Elliot, you can try it first. Leah, it bothers me when you take my cars and hide them. I wish you would not do that because I want to play with them. Leah, these are the words you're going to use to respond. Insert person's name. I heard you say that it bothers you when I restate the person's concern. And you wish I would restate the person's request. Is that correct? Elliot, I heard you say that it bothers you when I take your cars and hide them. And you want me to stop doing that because you want to play with them. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Will you stop? Yes, Elliot, I will stop. Elliot, it bothers me when you eat my sandwich out of my lunchbox. I wish you would stop doing that because I get hungry at lunch. If you need another sandwich, just ask Mom to make you another one. Leah, I heard you say that it bothers you when I eat your sandwich for lunch, and you wish I would stop doing that because you get hungry at lunch. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. I'm sorry for eating your sandwich, Leah. I'm sorry for taking your cars, Elliot. Leah and Elliot, Mom and I want the both of you to use these phrases whenever you have a problem. There should be no more arguing or fighting. I want you both to be boundary setters. It is up to you to use your words to let people know what's bothering you. The next day. The next day, Leah and Elliot were playing in the sandbox at the park. Elliot took Leah's shovel without permission. Instead of becoming angry, Leah remembered the phrases that her parents just taught them. She said, Elliot, it bothers me when you take my shovel without my permission. I wish you would stop doing that because I was using it to build my sandcastle. Elliot responded to Leah and said, Leah, I heard you say that it bothers you when I took your shovel without permission because you were building your sandcastle and you wish I would stop. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. I will let you use it when I get finished. We can take turns. Would that work for you? Yes, I would love that. 
Leah and Elliot could not wait to tell their parents that the phrases worked. They did not argue or fight. They solved their problem on their own using their words. Happily, Dad called a group hug, and while holding each other tight, he said, Let's all remember to respect each other's boundaries and use our words. Use your words to settle your differences.